Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknock1 slash Gubiotic, and welcome back to part 11 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. Last time we had a nice short war with the Australians. I'm um, to be fair, the war is not over. Uh, let's see if we can end that this turn. First, let's pick our spy operations. Now, we have a spy in Freeland that can immediately do pretty much anything it wants. Let's go ahead and establish a network, get our spies up some rank. And here, um, hmm, I'd like to be able to steal science as soon as I can, because it'll quest to give us another uh, spy, which we'll need to get our health extremely positive in the late game. Here, I'm thinking we do the same thing. We get establish a network, hopefully level up our spy, and the goal there is to build long-term influence. So we did pick up collaborative thought, which brought us up to six supremacy. So now the question is, what do we want to do in the tech web? We did pick up social dynamics, so we have long-term growth and health pretty much settled at this point. Um, so that is not going to be one of our prime concerns anymore. Uh, what we can do, we could just go ahead and pick up uh, communications. It's going to be something we need in the long run anyways. I believe both of these, the command center and the feedsite hub, quest for a spy. So that would be nice. We can get our two spies up like that. And giving us a use for petroleum wouldn't be bad. That said, we don't have titanium. Um, so that's a thing. Uh, hmm. You eventually do orbital networks anyways. The other thing is, is that we could go n like the top end of the tech web up here. Um, so up here we have a couple options. The organ printer for lots of science and over yonder with the bioglass furnace, which is lots of production. Um, I'm always split on really which one of these I think is better. Uh, and then I guess for the economy, if we really, really wanted to, we could go organics here and then photosystems. So we do have to pick up organics anyways um, on our way to either of these two, and it's going to give us a little bit of an improved yield on generators. So this is a fair option. Honestly, we have a lot of tundra, so this could be pretty good. Uh, mass digesters, where we need them, could give us some really critical energy. Huh. I'm thinking organics is the safest option right now. It's a short tech. We'll reevaluate the situation when we get there. Um, let's just heal all our guys up. Uh, except the tech jets. Actually, no, the tech jets deserve a heal too. Why not? Get our guy back. Heal him up. Finish another mag rail. And let's just keep on shifting the mag rail. Shift them mag rails all day. Alright, so what we wanted to do is, before I forget, talk to Utama to see you about again. a little bit of peace. So he's still being a complete dick and demanding things that he has no military to demand. So, that means we need to put a little bit of pressure on him. The way we're going to do that is by marching an army up to kick his weak ass. Um, so, we could begin doing that. Um, we're a bit economically unstable at the moment. The solution there, I suppose, is in the form of organics, uh, mass digesters, and building some actual generators, which we haven't done in such a long time. Um, but I'm not disposed to say it's a bad option. Let's go ahead with our super-powered disciple now. Uh, and just, hmm, I actually don't know what's there. So that doesn't look like the safest option. If a siege room's there, he could do some serious damage to us. Uh, so you know what, let's instead end the turn not on Miasma, and just eat this guy. Thankfully there is no worm, and we're just gonna march on in with these disciples, and pretty much just clean house. Very few things are gonna really be able to threaten a veteran disciple. Well, no aliens, really. Okay, so let's see if this is really still the best trade route. Um, it's giving us two food, five production, and I think that's pretty solid. It still looks like the best trade route to me. Let's heal all these guys up. LED saying we share a common way. Suzanne Fielding criticizing us. Whatever, dude. I mean, we're sorry, I guess. We're not, but we'll say we are. Oh, wow. They're really surrounding this guy. They want him dead. I don't see it happening, though. Not with the disciples being as powerful as they are. They can try. He's just going to walk away. Oh, the drone's coming in for a free, full 360. That's crazy. 
And we're just gonna walk on out. Uh, we could just walk out this way. With some style. Um, you know, I'd rather not end the turn next to two, within two tiles of the nest, though. That just looks like it's gonna piss off the aliens again. So let's go ahead and move out this direction. It does, it seems counterintuitive because it brings us in contact with these guys. But if they want to attack us, they're gonna do it anyways. And this tile doesn't have my asthma. This looks like the safest option if we want him to live. And he's gonna live. He's got 37 health. We can support him with some needle jet action now. And boy, oh boy, do those needle jets do damage. Now that they are not tack jets anymore. Let's just go ahead and take out this drone. He's one of the bigger threats, I think, to that disciple's survival. Gun him on down and get our gunners in place. Uh, these guys could still use a short heal. Why not? Just let him sit there for one more turn. You know, honestly, when we start disbanding some of these workers, our energy problem is also going to, you know, solve itself. So, let's just keep building what we're building. And shift the mag rails. Always shift some mag rails. The mag rail was actually already done, so... We can shift another mag rail. That actually sounds intelligent, considering this guy's getting a good amount of damage on him. Get him out of the miasma. And shift him to finish the job. Okay, this one's done. And shift, shift, shift them mag rails all day, all night. Oh, that was not well done. I should have shifted this one. Uh, now he can't actually use that turn efficiently. Oh well. So what do we want here? Do we want to maximize production to Tiangong or Hu to Huan Lai? I think production Tiangong isn't a bad idea. Might as well just continue on it. And this health problem just looks like it's solving itself. We don't even have to really focus it anymore. Now they're going to give these disciples a run for their money, but I don't see them taking them out. And you have another 25 health. Yeah. Looks like one guy just did all the work. But that's what you get. Veterans. We'll get him into Ganserig and heal him up real quick. We did just get another culture, another virtue. Now it is time to pick up community medicine finally. This is going to up our science by 10% as we hit the synergy. And it's also going to give us uh, this, community medicine. What we've waited for the whole game. Refused to pick up early because there were better options. So let's just see how this affects us. We have 8 on health right now and 122 science as we pick it up. 4 on health and 131. So that was pretty good. Um, as we continue to grow, community medicine is just going to help us even more, and the health is really solving itself. This is why I don't totally understand people who say that health is such a huge issue that they have to go prosperity. Um, I like the prosperity free colonist, but I don't think it justifies itself on the health. So I think the option now that's most intelligent is civil crushes in Tiangong as well. Growth, 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 nothing bad about it. And let's just keep on doing how we doing. Oh look, yeah, we're still at war with these guys. They have armor now. Scary. JK. Um, yeah. So we're gonna keep on building us some mag rails. And you know what? Let's we can't get over there. Let's jump him there, go that, and go here. That's good. All right. Now the trade convoy out of Kuyan. Citadella, again, we are relying on them to keep us afloat on the economy until we're done with these mag rails. Um, we can't go much farther. And honestly, these needle jets are going to keep the aliens at bay for as long as we need them to. Praise the needle jets. And their glorious expertise. Well, that's some good juicy science too. Never forget about alien science. It'll add up. It will add up. Alright, another trade right out of Ganserig. Okay. So we could just, you know, say, you know, we don't need all that much production more out of Ganserig. Which is uh, not a horrible idea. Or we could just go with the trader out to Citadella. <coughs> for a hefty amount of energy and science. Um, hmm. What was the question? International or local? 
This is good. It's gonna it's giving us some growth, some production of Honley where we need it, some extra production of Ganzerig. Um but this is that's just gonna keep us afloat for just that much longer. Um so I'm gonna say that looks like the best option. The worst case scenario is that this armor could eat us next turn. I don't totally see that happening, however. Alrighty, this worker finished his magrail. Let's keep bumping these guys. And get him working on that magrail. So, it looks like he'll actually be able to finish that with some health remaining. Um, hopefully we'll just be able to bump it between a couple guys. Yeah, we'll make sure that nobody dies. If they do, it's just one worker lost. And honestly, at this point in the game, it's not the craziest, most crucial thing that would keep all of our workers alive. Le commerce fonctionne. Nope, we don't do that. We don't do the free trades. No, ma'am. And it looks like that armor actually ran into the ocean and... Yeah, got attacked by one of those sea dragons. The Manticore thinks he can do a little bit of work. Funny. Let's just trade out our disciples. That one will get healing next turn, and we can begin bombarding. When these guys level up at affinity level 7, it will be another story for these aliens. But we could attack that. Now, it always lies. It says this is going to be total defeat, but I'm never totally sure. Sometimes these naval attacks just don't do anywhere close as much damage as they say they will. That's the real sure sign that something has gone horribly wrong in the damage estimation. Because it's flying <laughs> several, several circles overhead of its target. Um, let's just ignore that. Actually, there we go. It did exactly as much damage as it said it would and destroyed it. So Gansrig finished its network, and now we get to choose between the Civil Crash, the Soma Distillery, Cedar Saturn Nursery, or the Alien Preserve. Right now, we're dealing with all of the excess health here. So I say we just go with the Alien Preserve. It's a nice, safe culture, science, and energy building. Not going to add anything to our energy deficit. And yeah, it's good. Alrighty, um, let's get him over to repair that farm. This guy can finish building that magrail. Let's put some pressure on these aliens again. Now that we have Disciples, we're really going to be able to close the gap and finish these aliens off. Hopefully. Just five on health now. That's critical. How goes our spies? Finishing networks in one turn. Okay. And how's the spying in Tiangong? All solved. So you know what? We can probably send this guy elsewhere. Um, I'm thinking we go Mandira. Doesn't look like a bad option. Let's get these guys in position. Back where they were. And these disciples in position as well. We could really just push up with that disciple right into the nest. I don't think the siege worm could even stop us at this point. Uh, let's move this guy over to Gong Ren. Give us some extra range. And see if we can't improve that farm. The magrail heals complete. And let's finish this magrail. I love me some magrails. You gotta love the extra production you get from them. Alright, so she wants a cooperation agreement. Okay then. I'm pretty sure she's still the most powerful in the world. Yeah, by considerable amount. We have the same affinity level though. Alright, so he has 20 health and he finishes this turn. That is acceptable. Undetected. Undetected. Good. Wonderful. So we can now begin to either steal energy or science. Huh, what do we want? I'm going to actually go with the science here. We're going to be taking some pretty expensive things in within the range of 19 turns. So, And it does give a sense proportional to what we're taking, so that sounds pretty good. Now here's what's a little disappointing. I wanted to be able to get the steel science because I really want more spies or late game health. Okay, let's just dig our disciple right on in. And, huh. Well. Let's just bombard this guy, I guess. 
Not too many, too many options there. Finish him off with the needle jet. These needle jets are so, so powerful. Honestly, we could do serious damage to. Asset. We could do serious damage to the siege worm itself with these needle jets. Expert level. They're barely. They, they're. At, at, I mean, at max health, these guys are only going to take what 20, 30 damage from bombarding a siege worm. Compare that to what the attack jets would take, <laughs> which is total death at really any amount of health on the siege worm, and it's just really hard to compare. All right, so let's move this gunner just into position here. He can start firing on that siege worm next turn. What worker is this? Okay. Finished another mag rail. I think it's high time we built these petroleum wells. Health is very quickly becoming not an issue anymore. Um, and it is high time that we build those petroleum wells. Okay, with organics done, we have some interesting questions to answer. Ooh, I did not intend to click that. Um, okay, we can either go synergetics, get us up here to this level 8 stuff. But we don't actually have the affinity for that yet. Um, I'm thinking we go... We could go communications. Get those free spies up soon. Our total health. I really want to get them up. The total spies when we have near 100 total health. Um, you'll be surprised by how quickly that goes up now that we are beginning to actually grow a little bit. Um, hmm... 21 affinity points. How far will that get us? Just to level 7. Um, this is 30 affinity points. That will... Let's see. 11 for the next level. Followed by maybe 20. 31. Doesn't even look like it's going to be enough. Um, hmm. These are interesting questions that we have to answer. What do we exactly want to do here? I'm thinking the best option is just pick up tactical robotics or try to gun it to synthetic thought. Very curious though. 19 turns is when we get that free science buff, if we get it, which is not always a guarantee. Um, we could go 14 here, 5 here, it's 19 turns and then boom, hit it with bioengineering or synergetics as we need it. Um, let's go with this path first, as it's going to give us buildings and stuff we want. And if we get lucky, maybe Synthetic Thought gets us straight to 9. Who knows? And they are targeting that Disciple. They want him dead. This Disciple is just so powerful. Running down all of the aliens, holding that line so successfully. I'm honestly not even afraid to walk this guy in. That means the siege worm's there, or there. It really has to be one of those two spots. Um, do I want to engage the siege worm? Not really. So you know what, let's just go ahead and eat the wolf beetle. We'll get some more sight. Uh, this disciple's not dying anytime soon. And we can go ahead and bombard this guy with this very powerful needle jet. Let's get this needle jet out in Gongran as well. Gonna need it shortly. And we finished our lab in Gongren, which means we are up for a new building. Okay, what do we want here? We have soon to be four people there. And only two city health. We could go for a thorium reactor for long-term energy. Or we could go for a cyto nursery for solid health, science, and production, which could be a good option. Or for the pharma lab for just total long-term health. I'm thinking cyto nursery sounds like the best option right now. Just a good amount of everything all around. Alright, so Ganserig. Um, let's actually start dealing with our energy issue. And we'll do that by building two generators here, there, and then building on the silica mine, which we've wanted to do for a while as well. And while we're at it, we can actually just go ahead and delete, begin deleting workers, um, as soon as their jobs are done. So, <sighs> deleting workers is always a necessary thing, but 
comes with a little bit of sadness. You don't want to do it. You got to do it. You got to make way for those soldiers. Progress on the victories here. It's mostly satellite communications. Nothing too, too scary. And these disciples just doing, oh, so much damage. bombard him now. Actually get an idea of how much damage a fight between the Disciple and the Siege Room would be. It's quite a lot. Honestly, we could do it this turn. If we did some bombardments from the Needle Jets, which I'm not opposed to. Should be fine here. That is so horrifying. I haven't actually seen Siege Room bombardments in so long. I usually disable animate combat animations. We could just walk in right now, take it out. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's just make sure there's nothing. Up, oh, doesn't look like there's anything there. And that's gonna be it. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye, siege worm. I think we'll survive. We have more than 10 health. Yep, 29 health. And that is just a lot of science. Science from killing the siege room, science from clearing the nest. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're on track to get artificial intelligence just very, very quickly. Alright, so what do we want from Neural Labs here? The plus 10 production from military units? Or the one health? Um, hmm. We do have some distillery, so I think we're probably better off with this. Health is not going to be an issue for a while because of so many bio wells. And it is high time to build the neural lab here. Unless. Oh, it's definitely time. Neural lab is going to be giving solidly above three uh, science now, so. Nothing against it. A lot of things going for it. Build us a mine there. Build us some generators. Generators are giving us three energy. You know, one of the things we could do for long-term energy sustainability is try to pick us up the Xenoma Lamb, which is one of my favorite wonders in the game. All generators produce plus two energy. It's so incredible. It's just such a huge yield on energy. Put your disciples up, pull this disciple up to help protect the front line. And we have finally finished with the Magrail. Well, it looks like we have everybody working the Magrails they need to to finish the Magrail to Gonsrig, and we only have left to do is build the Magrail to Gong Ren. It's not a critical, critical priority right now, but we will send this guy down to begin that process. Alright, one more trade convoy. Right, Soku Labs, all good. And next turn. We're gonna want to pull this guy out immediately. I mean, he's not in danger of dying or anything, but he's, uh... Well, actually, he is, but... Let's just get him home. 19 health. Fought the fight. He did what he needed to do. Okay, so now... We... Finished the Alien Preserve. Do we want to build a Civil Crush here, or do we want to get the Saturn Nursery now? Um, Saturn Nursery, nothing against it. Three turns. Nice and easy. Boom, bam. Take it. Let's just get a little bit of vision here. We'll just see what we can see. And begin repairing this thing. A little bit more vision. It's a lot of stuff for explorers to pick out here. An alien nest and a crash satellite. Alright, heal up those needle jets. And go to this next turn. Alright, so he's willing to do a peace trade for a city. Uh, no, sir. We will only do peace if it benefits us. But that is how we play against people who declare war on us. Like giant assholes. It says here we have an idle covert agent. Alright. Cooperation agreement? All right by me. And this is a Brazilian city kind of in a tactical spot. Hmm, maybe war with Brasilia is imminent. These are the questions that must be on our minds always. Right. 
This actually looks like a very solid spot to put a city. Um, still have a good amount of time, a lot of time actually in this game. This game's gonna end probably like 290, so over 120 turns, so I'm not opposed to dropping some more cities. And this just looks like a very good spot. We don't have any titanium, and honestly, the titanium stuff with the, uh, the alloys down in fabrication, that's just gonna be a lot of production, so that's gonna be a very fast city. Especially if we have a bunch of workers, which we do. And we did want to connect up if we declare war on free land and really... Uh, sorry, uh, we, we're already at war, but you know, if we start putting pressure on them. Which we really can at this distance um, with none of the units that we have. So. Alright, I think it's high time to pick up Synthetic Thought. And time is up! So, hopefully that gets us to Affinity Level 8, so we can actually just skip Tactical Robotics altogether and just go right for Bioengineering or Synergetics. But thank you guys for watching. Um, see you guys next time. Peace.